Hello there guys, I am the Manx Pleb, and today I'm bringing you not necessarily a tutorial as such, but more of a test. Now, the program I have open here is called Audacity. It's a audio recording program, and it's the program I use to record my audio for gameplay and things like that. So, what this video is going to show you is the kind of difference that this program makes to your voice quality. So let's get started. My mic is very cheap, basically. It was about £20 off Amazon, so as you may expect, it's not really the best quality. But Audacity has a ton of tools you can use to improve the quality and make it sound like a £100 mic rather than a £20 mic. So first thing we're going to do here is obviously record some voice. Hello, I am the Manx Pleb. Right, just a quick little phrase. Now, first thing we're going to do is... <laughs> sorry, first take a listen. Hello, I am the Manx Pleb. So, not too bad already, but we this will sound a lot better when we're finished with it. Let's play it again. Hello, I am the Manx Pleb. So, there's a lot of background noise as you can hear. Take a listen at this small part at the end. That's background noise. That will be the sound of my laptop fan going and any other things that happen in the background. That's not good. You don't want that in your commentaries. That's what makes, that's what separates the amateurs from the professionals. So, first thing we're going to do to remove this background noise is select the part that you want to remove. Go to effect, down into noise removal, and click get noise profile. You have to do this. This is the first thing you do. What that does is it pretty much analyzes this part and declares it as background noise. And now when we select all of this clip, head into noise removal again and click OK, it removes everything that is similar to this part. So it will remove the background noise at the start and at the end and any little gaps in between like this one. And now we can see the line is completely flat which indicates the background noise has been removed. So now let's play it again. Hello, I am the Manx Pleb. What a difference already. The background noise is pretty much gone and the vocals sound much more clear. Hello, I am the Manx Pleb. Much more distinct. Right. We are not done there though. So, next thing we do, select the whole clip and we are going to normalize it. What this does is increases the volume and just makes the vocals more distinct and sort of jump out at you more. You know, you, you, you want to pay attention to it. If the vocals are too quiet in a commentary, it will just drone away and people will tune out and not really pay attention to what you're saying. So let's play this after normalizing it. Hello, I am the Manx Pleb. So there guys, as you can see, the vocals are much more clear than when we started, but again, there are still more things we can do. Effect. Now, what we're going to do is head into equalization. And what we do in this equalization tool is we bass boost the voice. And then we also where is it gone? And we also treble boost the voice. Now what this does is really increase the clarity of the vocals and the different sort of syllables and letter sounds, so let's play it again. Hello, I am the Manx Pleb. Now, the vocals are really, really clear now, but what this has also done is generated some extra background noise here. Just because of the increased volume, it's sort of picked up some of the tiny little noises in the background that the noise removal didn't remove. So, what we're going to do here, head back into noise removal, get the, get the noise profile again, select the whole thing, that's the wrong button, <laughs> select it, go into noise removal, and remove the background noise again. Now take another listen. Hello, I am the Manx Pleb. So, there we have it. Only just, only just a quick couple of things you can do, and now the voice sounds like this. Hello, I am the Manx Pleb. Extremely clear, much better than when we started, so if I go and undo all this, this is how it sounded like at the start. Hello, I am the Manx Pleb. And this is what we've ended up with. Hello, I am the Manx Pleb. It's a pretty subtle difference, but trust me, it really helps your commentaries a lot, and it sort of improves the general quality of your videos, and it makes it sound much more polished. 
So I think that brings us to the end of this video. So this is pretty much the routine I go through after recording a voice for a Let's Play or a, any sort of video. I would do that exact same steps for any voice and it would increase the quality by quite a good margin. So if you enjoyed this video, if this helped you, or if you got any sort of benefit out of this, feel free to give me a like. It lets me know that you enjoy what I'm doing and that I'm doing something right. And if you really like this and want to see more, feel free to subscribe. And if you hated this video and hate me and want me to get off YouTube, then dislike it. <laughs> do what you have to do. But also tell me why you dislike the video, because I want to know why you're not liking what I'm doing so that I can make things better and hopefully turn that dislike into a like. Anyway guys, that is the end of this quick little video in Audacity. I really do advise you use this program. It is by far the best recording software I've ever used. Don't know about you, but it's really, really helped the quality of my vocals. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys in the next video, and I've been the Manx Pleb.